Okay. Well, hey, it's Bruce Latch. We're down at Timeless R3 Finishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our website at www.timelessrgr.com. Well, we got this beautiful little uh, table all ripped apart here. Um, it was really wobbly, and it's an old antique. We're just going to refinish the top. Um, the hardest part about redoing stuff like that is when somebody pounds nails in here. I've had nails in here. I had nails inside of some of these joints, but I got them all taken care of. So we're going to put it back together. There's two joints here um, that don't need to be glued because they're still strong and they won't come apart. So I'm going to make this as quick as I can. Can you see pretty good, Sandy? Yes, I can. What kind of glue are you using? I am just using Tight Bond. Wood, yeah. wood glue? Yeah, the original. Um, in a, the red original Tight Bond wood glue. So after I basically ripped a piece apart and <clears throat> do all my... Uh, Drilling out of dowels like this one here was broken off. Clean the joints. Then we'll put it back together. And I like to get real sloppy with the glue. Just so uh, I know it's going to stay together. Pretty confusing to me. I wouldn't know what to put where. It can be sometimes. Do you label it sometimes? Sometimes I label it. And you should label it. <clears throat> but yeah, it can get confusing. We just kind of keep the parts. On something like this, you see the groove in here? Mm hmm. And that goes into the top, so I. And I kind of keep the pieces on the right and left hand side. Oh. So, but yeah, you can, I've seen pieces come in here that were flipped around from somebody that tried to fix it at one time and glued it up wrong. Mm. That. For a refinishing shop that does this all the time for a living, you would think I'd have a lot of nice workbenches all over here, set up nice and pretty where I'd have glue stations. And I pretty much work out of a, out of my spray booth area, and um, <clears throat> do all my sanding and all my repairs, and pretty much right in my spray booth area. Okay, so there's that. There's the back. The back was drilled out here too. These legs are all stable. They're not going anywhere. Um, about them beautiful chairs right there. They're very nice. Are you done with those? Um, <coughs> we got one more of them that glue up. I'm going to do a YouTube video on that. Oh. But these are all glued up. Now they just need to be cleaned up and uh, touched up. Hmm. And where did they come from? They came out of a house in Grand Rapids, but I think they came, I think I was told that they came from England. Oh. And there's some kind of a Chippendale here. Hmm. 
Okay, so at this point, the glue on everything. slowly. Mm -hmm. I almost missed this one here. This is where it gets a little tough getting it all fitted together here. Top of this is going to be refinished, pretty well bruised up. So mm. I think I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this too. That will help. Customer said this was a really wobbly piece, but it's very old, and all the glue joints were dried up. And that video to end on us, do we? No. What are those that you're putting in there? <clears throat> These are just like little brackets. Oh. This is how they had the top attached. Oh. They got a, a groove inside here mm -hmm. with these little brackets that um, tighten the top up to it, so it's kind of neat. Oh, please. I don't want to get them too tight until I kind of get them all in place. Oops, I got glue in my hair now. Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Time for a haircut. <laughs> it's been, what, eight months or so? 